<sighs> What's up, guys? I just came back from the theaters. And I watched The Batman. That starred Robert Pattinson and directed by Matt Reeves. It was intense. Three hours long, but it was good. So much better than Morbius. So much better than Morbius. Ah. Uh, wow. <laughs> so much action. It never stopped. Every time when you think you've gone ahead, you find out, no, you, that's not even the tip. <laughs> oh my lord, it was intense. Oh gosh, so much action. Non-stop. I really hope that there's going to be a sequel for this guy. Wow. <laughs> I can't, I can't, words can't describe it. It's just, wow. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. I really don't know what to say. It's just, it was an awesome movie. I really enjoyed it. I really did. From the costume, to the action, to how it was executed, you know, towards the costume design, everything was just awesome. I mean, there are some close-ups where you look at uh, the Batman's face, or Batman's face, and you can see that the, the craftsmanship, the, you know, the... Um, the stitching is like, wow, he really took the time to do so. Not only that, you can see he said two years I've been doing, like I've been a night, you know, been doing this at night. It turns me into a nocturnal animal. And you can see when he's in the sunlight, he's like, he has to have his glasses on because he's so, like, he's he's been in the dark. <laughs> you know, literally in the dark. You know, but it's just awesome. Um, Paul Dano did such a great job as playing the Riddler because the Riddler is, in fact, an unhinged character. You know, he's not sophisticated. He is a very unhinged character. You know, he... In this one, it seemed like... I don't know. Maybe this is blasphemy to say, but it just seemed like he was a rather dumbed-down... But he was, in fact, a mastermind. Like Heath Ledger's, Heath Ledger's Joker's from The Dark Knight. He was that, but, you know, like I said, dumbed down, you know, obviously kept to himself, you know. I loved how he wasted no time. Apparently, the uh, Paul Dano had gotten a, um inspiration from the Zodiac Killer. And, uh... You know, that's why the whole gimmick and everything. But yeah, he was like another Joker. He had followers and things like that. When by the time they realized where he, what he was doing, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I can. Oh, it was awesome. The only thing, another thing, was in the theater that I was in. Some dude decided to take a picture. <laughs> How or why he didn't get kicked out, I have no idea. But they took a picture and you could see the flash. Yeah. But yeah, I really did enjoy it. I enjoyed every moment of it. I was like, this is so much better. You know, I was like, holy crap. You know. Oh my gosh. It was awesome. It was awesome. Yeah. The design for the penguin, I understand what they were going for, but dang. Well, then again, the penguin isn't so handsome anyways. But, oh, my God, Colin Farrell. C Colin Fer yeah, Colin Farrell. You couldn't even recognize him. <laughs> you couldn't recognize him. But, yeah, good movie. Good movie. I wish we saw more scenes with Selena Kyle, but I understand, you know, this was also an origin story, but it was more of to the Batman than to her. But, yeah. I enjoyed it. 
Would I watch it again? No, because it's so intense. <laughs> but yeah, um, there were so many times it seemed like it was gonna end. It ended like it seemed like four times it seemed it was gonna end right there. But nope, it kept going, kept going, kept going. But yeah, I enjoyed every moment of it. So uh, if you guys are gonna watch it, great. I, I would suggest you watch it on a weekend. Don't watch it on a weekday. Watch it on a weekend because if you have work in the morning, you're gonna be tired as hell. But I don't have that problem, so I'm good with that. 